Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and we're going to take a look at Luminar 4. In this case, we've got a pretty boring window and a tough exposure. So I want to fix things really quick. Using Accent AI, I can easily even out the exposure of the scene. And I could try to enhance the sky that's there, but it's just pretty grainy and not very good. Now, I like this, but I want to finesse it. So I'm going to switch on over to the Creative Group and use Sky Replacement. I can try out different skies, and you see very quickly it swaps them out. The horizon is already matched, and I can easily move this up or down using the horizon position to change where it falls. Plus, the horizon blending creates a nice, smooth transition. The challenge here, though, is that this is way too in focus. The rest of the image is very blurry. So using Sky Defocus, I can start to push that out so it matches the blur of the original landscape. Now I can use the Relight Scene option and you see that it picks up those colors and starts to match them. We can also tweak the exposure here of the foreground and the contrast to taste. That's looking pretty good. Let's try a completely different sky though with a sunset and you see it changes the time of day very dramatically and affects the lighting in the scene here. Now I like this and what I can do is play with the sliders here to balance it out with Sky Local and Sky Global to affect the overall mix. And we'll just put a little bit more blending there on the horizon line to create a nice smooth transition between the original water line there and the new sky. Now that it's looking solid, I'll go back to the essentials and I can take advantage of AI structure. This improves the overall dynamic range of the image and dramatically adds to the appearance of sharpness. Using a little boost here, we can dial that in and you see the before and after, we've completely changed the look of the scene. Now with Details Enhancer, we'll just bring out those details a little bit. We can dial in the mixture here for small versus large detail. And that's really helping, and I'll put a little sharpness in. All right, there is the overall change, completely different lighting, and a new overall look to the scene itself, and I'm very satisfied. I see the light source here seems to be in the right place, but if I needed to, I could easily jump on in there and quickly flip the sky, and it will take on different properties there to reposition the cloud and the source of the light. So you can easily make that change. And of course, dial in new options with just the drop down here, or easily go ahead and load your own custom sky images. I'll change this out here for a completely different type of image and just tweak the position there. There we go. You see it takes on new light. You can swap for another. and the lighting is changed. Again, feel free to tweak the horizontal position as necessary and take advantage of that horizon blending to create a smooth overall transition between the two. And let's just balance that global slider out there versus local to minimize any spill through the window. All right, there's the before and the after. You see the easy change, and you can always finesse to taste by using the global slider and local slider here to balance out that transition and how the light wraps around the subject.